In this video, we're going to create a power automate flow that's going to receive a scheduled report from Salesforce and then save that to SharePoint and then use that to refresh a Power BI data set. So to begin, the first thing you'll need is your Power BI data set, of course. And for me, the data set my data source for that data set is this file right here. And I have this saved in SharePoint. Um, so in my larger organization, we've got all of these subfolders here, uh, all the way down to this file right here. So we're gonna need this particular URL up here. And then of course, we also need our Salesforce uh, report. And before we start building our flow, we're gonna go ahead and schedule the Salesforce report. So let's do that first. So on the reports page in Salesforce, I have my report right up here. And if I go all the way to the right, I have this drop down arrow here and I want to click subscribe. Now I'm already subscribed to this report, but I want to show you how to set it up. So I want to send this report daily and the frequency can't be anything uh, more than daily. Um, so you can at least refresh your data set daily with these reports from Salesforce. And then you can set the time for whatever time you want. And then you can edit the attachment to determine what kind of uh, report you wanna send. And I wanna just receive a, a, a standard .xlsx report. So once I have set that up and saved, now I can go ahead and start building my flow. So I go to Power Automate and create a automated cloud flow. We'll worry about the flow name later. For now, what we want is when a new email arrives and the one we want is V3, Office 365 Outlook, and we go ahead and create. Now we need to set up our uh, email trigger. Now, before you set up this trigger, um, you probably want to first go to Salesforce and actually uh, send this, right? So set up your schedule, your subscription here, and set it to the next time that it will send to your uh, inbox. And the purpose of that is so that you can see what it actually looks like after it's sent to you. So this is what it looks like for me. Um, the sender is actually myself, even though it was sent from Salesforce. And the subject is report results and then in parentheses, the name of the report. So I can go ahead and grab that because we're gonna need that for our trigger in the subject filter. So we add that to our subject filter and then I can also put in the from, it's sent from me. And then it includes attachments. It's gonna be yes, because it always includes attachments. So you can even go with only with attachments, you can go ahead and put yes as well. Um, and that's really all that you need for the trigger. All right now we'll go ahead and we'll add a new step. And for this next step, it's go we're going to need a create file action. That's gonna be a SharePoint connector. So if you go ahead and type in SharePoint, you can click on SharePoint and then you can search connectors, SharePoint connectors, and the name of it is create file. So we grab create file. Now this is where we need our site address. So go ahead and find where that file is for you, the folder path. So again, in SharePoint, I want to save it to this folder here, but that's what I'm looking for here. So I got to go um, a little bit deep to get to that. And there's the folder. Now, the file name. The file name is going to be a unique name for you that will always be the same name. So. Um, as you can see, if we take a look at that email sent to us from Salesforce, the name of the file is always this unique identifier here, um, the name of my report, but then it's followed by a string of numbers, which represents the date and time. Um, and so that number is always going to be different every time, but we want it to just be the same. We want the file name to always be the same. So if you look here, I already have this file um, in SharePoint, and so I'm gonna keep with the same name. So I'm gonna go ahead and 
call it training subscriptions all time. And then also don't forget your file uh, type. So this is an XLSX file. So I need to add the dot XLSX. Otherwise you um, will come across an error without that. So that's very important. Um, and the file content, that one's easy. You're gonna go and grab the dynamic content of our trigger here. So that's gonna be attachments content of our when a new email arrives. So we go ahead and plug that in and that's going to automatically create and apply to each. So for each email that contains that, it's gonna run this create file action. And then finally, our last thing we wanna do is right here, we're going to choose our refresh uh, data set action. That's a Power BI action. Here we have under actions, refresh a data set. Go ahead and select that. Now from here, you're going to need to choose your workspace. Now, of course, I've um, connected to Power BI um, in Power Automate before, so I'm not needing to uh, sign in or anything like that. But the first time you're doing this, you may need to do that, or you will need to do that. And then I'm going to choose my workspace because that's where my um, pages, Power BI pages are. And then the data set, I need to select subscriptions by account because that's the name of my data set that I'm refreshing um, with this report here. So now we have all of that set up. We're ready to go. So we're going to go ahead and save that and let it run. And then watch as this file will get essentially updated. Es essentially, it's getting replaced, right, with our new file from SharePoint, um, or sorry, from Salesforce. Um, and then it's getting renamed, of course, to, to this. And then it's going to refresh our data set when all is said and done. So that is how you can refresh a data, data set in Power BI from a SharePoint file sent from Salesforce. Thanks everyone for watching and we'll see you in the next video. Take care everyone. Bye-bye.